Hey guys, it's Rob Seberg with Paperless Student. Excited to be back for another video as always. In today's video, I will be going through 15 applications that you can use for taking handwritten notes for your iPad in 2019. I will be announcing 15 lucky winners for the giveaway that has been running on this channel for two weeks now. Since there are 15 applications to go through in this video and 15 winners, I will be announcing a winner after talking about each application. That way you get to watch the whole video. I get a higher retention for this video and hopefully go viral. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Digital note taking has evolved tremendously in the past couple of years. We have two different types of digital notes, handwritten notes and type notes. So I just wanted to clarify that this video focuses on handwritten digital note taking applications for your iPad. I have 10 traditional note taking applications. It's kind of funny saying traditional considering that there's actually nothing traditional about being paperless. These are applications that are primarily designed and meant to take notes. And then I have five other applications that are not really primarily note taking applications but they have potential to do a great job with note-taking under the right circumstances. For the first time on this channel, I have graded this list. I usually just give out the list in random numbers in a random fashion. But in this video, I've actually graded them from the bottom to the top note-taking application. And I'm curious if you guys agree with me on this list and how I've graded them. At number 10, I have Apple Notes. I am crowning this the most improved application in 2019. I compared this application to Notability a few weeks back. The application has improved a lot in iPadOS 13 with some very impressive features that include collaborations on notes and folders, video support, you can add videos from your photos, and the ability to insert tables. With all these features, however, I still feel the notes application is still not going to be an app you want to use for serious note taking. I am using it for rough notes, which for the first time, the notes application is actually useful. Coming at number nine, I have Zoom Notes. I am crowning this the most advanced note taking application for your iPad. That's not necessarily a good thing, which is why the application is on number nine. But Zoom Notes has features that some applications can only dream of having, and this makes it an amazing note taking application. Sub pages, for example, your pages can have sub pages on them and the ability to create an outline for your notes. You can also have layers on your pages. This is the only application that I know that offers that. You can also create hyperlinks in the application as well. As amazing as the application is, it requires time to master, which honestly, not a lot of people have time to try and figure out how to use an application on top of all the work that you already have to do. I find the application a bit too complicated and not very user-friendly. Another thing that pulls this application down is that it just has a very ugly old-fashioned user interface. It's not very pleasant to look at. Nonetheless, it's still the most powerful, most complicated note-taking application. Every time I think about Zoom notes, I always say if you can think it zoom notes probably does it and it's true they have thought of everything at number eight i have not always the most expensive app on this list it costs 15 dollars on app store it is also the simplest application on this list this is one of two applications on the list that hasn't bothered to update for iPadOS, and the developers mostly maintain the application to fix bugs it's weird considering how much they're asking for the application the application still works it has a simple user interface that's very easy to learn its tools are mobile you can put them anywhere on the screen unlike the tools in apple notes these tend to stay where you put them. The one in notes, they just keep moving. Every time I move it to the top, it just goes to the bottom. Next time I come back into the application, it this application has no settings to customize your user interface, but it works. You can start using the application right away after you've just purchased it. As you zoom in onto the page, your handwriting becomes blurry. And this is the main reason why I don't like using this application for digital note taking applications. It's very necessary for you to be able to zoom in into your notes without them losing their resolution. The inking in this application mostly looks like a scanned copy of handwritten notes. It has a strange approach to horizontal scrolling. I am a vertical scrolling type of human. So this is another reason why I don't like the application. 
it is the only strictly note-taking application on this list. You can't import anything into the application. And this is kind of limiting, especially if you have old notes that you'd like to add to the application. You can't do that. On number seven, I have Notes Plus. Though this is a great note-taking application, most of its unique features have stopped being unique to it because other applications have caught up over the last couple of years. After Zoom Notes, Notes Plus is the second most advanced note-taking application on this list. It is more intuitive than Zoom Notes. I have done a very comprehensive series on this application and I think that series will probably be valid for a very long time because the developers are not really adding any new features. Notes Plus is the only application that supports Arabic for handwriting recognition and conversion. If you speak Arabic and you want an application that converts your handwriting to text, then this is the only application that is available. And Notes Plus, it supports a total of 55 languages. I love the fact that the application shows you the zoom percentage of your pages. It exposed to Evernote. Some of you guys seem to like that about applications, so I thought I'd mention it. The handwriting experience has improved since I last tried this application and it seems to have less resistance and I'm loving the way my handwriting is looking in the application. The app on number six is pen and paper. This is a great note-taking application with a very unique feature that I've not found in any other note-taking application. It lets you create lecture slides from your PowerPoint presentations. If you have a lot of lecture slides and you want to take notes on the side during lectures, this is the application you need. Keynote does this for free though, and I've done a video on that if you want to see it. I've also done a video using Microsoft, so I will link those videos in the description down below. The ink in the application feels the most realistic. It looks looks like an actual pen and I always feel like the ink is going to smudge on the screen for some weird reason. It has that look. I really like how realistic the ink looks. The application also offers pressure sensitivity and it actually has an option for you to turn it on and off. Another thing that's very outstanding about this application is that it supports you adding your own fonts from different websites. It also has animated pages. Anyone who misses physical books and you're feeling nostalgic, you might want to get this application. And it actually does quite a pretty decent job. The application still needs to improve its shapes tool. It's not natural. It also limits the kind of shapes that you can draw because it has um, set shapes that you can use and that you can add to your notes. Before we get into the top five handwriting note-taking applications, here are the winners for Not Shelf. In order for me not to butcher y'all's names, I'm just going to mention your first name. Names. Unless your name just rolls off my tongue, I will just mention your name, you know, pay attention to the name written on the screen. The first winner is Ranjan Kumar. Number two, to top lop. The third winner is Kionse Katier. The fourth winner is Mike. The fifth winner is Rhino Bones. Congratulations. Please contact me on social media, Facebook or Instagram, or email me, ropsy at beingpaperless.com, to collect your redeem code. Congratulations, guys. Now let's get into our top five of our list. At number five, we have UPAD. Tables for a note-taking application I must have, and it's actually quite surprising just how many note-taking applications don't actually have this feature. The application has great inking, closely replicating handwriting experience that you get in Notability. UPAD also has a very customizable shapes tool, but you are only limited to having one of these shapes only in your notes. These are the only shapes that you can add. Any other shape that you need, you will have to utilize the straight line tool. And it's not the most comfortable to use, I must say. I like the fact that for your password protected notes, this is the only application that has a way to recover your password in case you forget it. Let's be honest, things happen, our brains get scrambled and we forget stuff. The application only has horizontal scrolling, no vertical scrolling. This, for me, unforgivable. This application, um, not always as well, both don't have handwriting recognition technology, unacceptable in 2019. At number four, we have OneNote, a free note-taking application that's actually usable for serious note-taking. Le app supports true dark mode. This is the first third-party application I've seen that automatically converts your handwriting when you switch to and from dark mode. And of course, we expect nothing less from Microsoft. The application has a couple of killer features that make it an outstanding note-taking application. You can insert space if you want to write something on the same page, but you don't want to create a new page. You can actually create space between information and write in whatever it is that you need to add without you creating a new page. If you intend to never share your notes with anyone because you are just a selfish human being like that, this is a really cool feature that you can have. Even though they offer an infinite canvas, there is a way for you to share your notes without actually needing to export them by inviting for collaborations and you allow them to edit or just to view your notes. 
OneNote is available across all devices and you sync across all your devices, Android, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS. You can sync across all of these with your Microsoft account. The application comes with 5 gigabytes free storage, but after it runs out, you will need to pay for storage on a monthly basis. On number three, I have Notshelf. I am crowning Notshelf the most underrated note-taking application on this list and also the best handwriting experience you will get on the iPad. I recently compared Notshelf 2 to GoodNotes 5 and it did a pretty good job. I was impressed. Some of you guys were impressed. We were like, what? Notshelf has a lot of impressive features that include publishing to Evernote, supporting OCR for 65 languages, an awesome text tool, and awesome page templates. If you like the way your handwriting looks and you don't want it altered, the Notshelf might not be the best application for you. The application also seems to have an underlying bug that makes the app lag a bit for some users, which can be distracting. If you've had a problem with Notshelf 2 lagging, just wait for an update. Uh, that seems to work. At number two, I have GoodNotes 5, the most complete handwriting note-taking application on the list. GoodNotes has just the right amount of tools and offers just the right amount of customization for it not to be too complicated or too simple, but just right. Unique to it is the laser pointer tool, one of its latest and coolest update. This update emphasizes on presentations from within the application, which is definitely a must have for most professions. You also get an improved inking experience and writing experience in GoodNotes. The outline feature is a very good one for serious note takers. If you are going to be taking a lot of notes in the application, it's great that you have the option to create outlines of your notes. However, GoodNotes is still missing a very important feature, which is auto backup. This is unforgivable and this is why they are not number one. On number one is Notability. I am crowning this the king of note-taking applications. I don't know exactly why because Notability really has an annoying limitation on page customization. It is one of the worst organization options, though I've kind of made it work for myself personally. Now, it's not even supporting multiple instances in iPadOS, but despite that, Notability is the most functional note-taking application on App Store. It just is. Against all the other applications, when it comes down to it, Notability is an all-rounder awesome note-taking application. I don't know how that works, but it is the ultimate note-taking application, and it's an application that I personally use, and I'm waiting for Notability to fix all the things I don't like about them. That was my top 10 on the best handwriting note-taking applications in 2019. Before we get into the unorthodox note-taking application, here are the good notes 5 winners. Number 1, Ben Miss. Number 2, Christian. Number 3, Trini Ice Queen. Number 4, Ahmad Fade. Number 5, Joseph Chase. Congratulations guys and you can also contact me on social media to collect your promo codes. Now let's talk about the not so traditional note-taking applications. The first three are primarily PDF readers. At number five, we have PDF Expert 7. The application offers creation of a new PDF and you can choose a paper template from these three options, blank, ruled, or grid. This makes for it is a note-taking application. If you're looking into purchasing a note-taking application and you really want to try one that's free, you can try PDF Expert, the free version first before you buy a note-taking application. It might work for you. The inking tools and the writing experience in the application are really basic and decent. You can actually create good notes with this application. Um, but if you wanted to get more out of the application, if you're a new user, you will have to pay a subscription for $12 a month, which I, for one, think is absolutely ridiculous. No can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm, ain't happening. At number four, I have Margin Note 3. The application recently added the ability to add and remove pages in PDFs. Writing in this application has always felt great and natural and I always enjoyed using it. Um, so this application can be maneuvered to create decent notes. However, this is not the cheapest application on the market. So you might want to go with the traditional note taking applications for this one. And the same applies to number three, Liquid Text has the most improved inking tool. Liquid Text is actually the application that first gave me the idea of actually using PDF applications as note-taking applications. See, my brain is working. <laughs> Writing in the application feels better than it does in Notability actually. However, for Liquid Text, you need to really understand the exporting options in the application because they are a bit complicated. But once you figure that out, you are good to go.
At number two, nibble. I have put this on the list because it converts everything you write to text when you export it. If you did want to export your handwritten notes out of the application, it's not as straightforward as just opening the application and writing in it. There is a way, there is a potential loophole how you can use this and write your notes and keep them as handwritten notes. On number one, I have Procreate. Yes, if an artist can use it, so can you. You just want to create great art, you can create great notes. Voila. Oh my goodness. This makes such a potentially amazing note-taking application. You just need to know how. So yeah, which of these applications are you guys interested in me going in depth with? Let me know in the comment section down below. And before I wrap up this video, for the Notability winners, I originally promised you guys five winners from Notability, but the Notability team is so generous they gave me 10 codes and me being such an honest human being i am going to have 10 lucky winners because i have 10 codes even though you guys didn't know about it i'm cool like that <laughs> okay so here are the winners for notability number one james number two bavia number three sorab number four peace number five Jehu. number six stefano number seven kidafantine no idea how to pronounce that Number eight, Tank Diaz. Number nine, Nora. And number 10, No Man Ahmed. Congratulations to everyone that has won for this giveaway. And thank you to everyone that participated. And this brings me to the end of this long video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.